Hi, Links Park Community Trust. We aim to use the power and widespread appeal of sport, but in particular football, to inspire change. And that's across our three areas of work, being sport, education and health. We firmly believe that football is one-off, if not the best training ground in which to support children develop the skills required for life, learning and work. We are very fortunate in the Montrose Cluster to have excellent links with Lynx Park through their community trust. Initially with Peter, teachers within the cluster collaborated to develop four trails. A health and wellbeing trail for Primary 1, a maths trail for Primary 3, a literacy trail for Primary 5 and a science trail for Primary 7. The trails take the cross-curricular learning into the environment to make the learning meaningful for our pupils. These trails engage, motivate and enthuse pupils to then transfer this learning back into their classroom. The educational programmes are proving successful in raising achievement and attainment in the areas of health, literacy, numeracy and science simply by asking the children to take on key roles here at the football stadium. Whether it's the new signing in the boardroom as part of a press conference, the shopkeeper, the sports scientist or even the groundsman on the pitch. As a teacher it's great to be able to put into practice what we've been doing in the classroom into a real context uh, where it's great that the children can have fun while we're doing it. There are an increasing number of young adults locally, aged 16 to 19, who are leaving school and choosing not to move on to education, employment or training. Working in partnership with Angus Council and Comic Relief, we're delivering a series of employability and leadership programmes that have the sole aim of inspiring, but also better preparing these individuals for employment. As a youngster, I was always obsessed with football and just wished there was something along these lines when I was growing up. I always wanted to progress with a career in football coaching, which I've now done here at LPCT. Um, football has always been a part of my life. I used to play for my school team. That then inspired me to volunteer here at Lynx Park. I did that for two years and then I started getting support from the Trust and they took me through my training courses, which has now led me to be a lead coach. I started off as a volunteer and in time started to get more and more work in and eventually ended up as pretty much a full-time coach here. For me, the main thing is seeing a kid's face when they've mastered their first step over or scored their first goal, or they've done something for the first time, to know that you've made a difference. As a head teacher of 36 years, I was delighted to become involved in this programme which combines my two great loves of education and sport. Having received support from the NHS through their Innovation Fund, we were able to appoint a Project Officer for Health and working alongside Pete Strachan, one of our trustees who also happens to be a GP, we've been able to develop and deliver upon a range of health initiatives that are designed to meet local identified need. Third sector organisations can play a massive role in supporting health and well-being within the community. Lynx Park Community Trust are a perfect example of this. They develop and deliver unique, innovative programmes addressing social, physical and psychological inequalities. I think the walk in football has been a great idea. And whoever came up with this idea deserves a medal. I've noticed that uh, getting second wind is coming easier. First couple of weeks you were taking time out, shall we say. But uh, the breathing, certainly the lungs seem to be benefiting from it, yeah. Hi, I'm Fiona Cruikshank. I joined the Ladies Walk in Football since it started. Who would have thought at my age I'd be playing any football-related activity Monday nights? Just wouldn't be the same without it. With an increasing number of people being affected by mental health issues, we believe that we are very well placed to support these, since sport and physical activity is highly recommended when seeking to improve upon mental health and well-being. The Football Memories programme relies on the understanding that it's about feelings. So to have it here at the stadium, to walk them in through the gate and along past the pitch, up the tunnel and into the changing room with strips hung out, is all trying to evoke memories of football of some sort. Feelings are important because it, it shows that you're taking consideration of what they do remember. So if you do find something out in the discussions at the football memories, then you can research that and bring that back the following week. It will provide a great deal for men because there isn't enough for them. I'm really glad for my husband to get male company. Even sitting around the table with other men has meant a lot to him and he's able to, in his own way, converse. As people realise the importance of helping people with dementia, I think this is an excellent project and I'm only too delighted my husband can take part in it. Here at LPCT, our Lynx Park Little Dribblers programme provides a fun introduction to sport and in particular football. 
We've developed our very own football curriculum here, Lynx Park Soccer Star, where the star represents skill, teamwork, athleticism and respect. And we place each of those areas of equal importance. We try and ensure that children can develop a skill set where they can face the many challenges that they are presented with in a game of football. Well, it's fun and it helps me develop with um, my football and the coaches are, are all nice. I like the drills and the games because it helps me to get better. Well, I want to be a footballer and because I come here I want to learn new skills to be a footballer. My son uh, Finn has been coming um, to the Trust uh, for probably about a year and a half now. And he's quite a shy boy, quite a shy child and it's really uh, brought him out of his shell. Um, he's a lot more confident now than he was to begin with. I've got two sons that both come down to Lynx Park Community Trust and they've both been coming down since they were three. Um, so I've seen them both develop in so many different ways. Uh, first of all, from a football point of view, obviously. Um, as you can hear, they're all really quite happy. <laughs> the thing that I like the most about Lynx Park Community Trust is that they'll take you in, no matter what age you are, no, um, no matter how your ability to play the game is, they'll just teach you how to get better. If I could say one thing to encourage more people into football is that the game is for everyone, no matter what age, no matter how good or bad you are. We're very proud of what we have achieved in our first three years of operation, but we certainly don't want to stand still. We're keen to engage in an ever-increasing number of organisations who operate in the areas of sport, education, health and community safety. I've been working with Troyes for a number of years now, and I've enjoyed the great partnership working that we share with Lynx Park Community Trust. Pete and the team have been very good in supporting us with diversionary projects in the community. The level of calls that we've had in regards to antisocial behaviour have dropped considerably. A number of projects have been so successful that we've rolled them out elsewhere across Angus. At Lynx Park Community Trust, we do not charge a set fee for any of our programmes. We rely entirely on the sponsorship, donations and funds generated from our sporting activities. We are actively seeking sponsorship from local business who may feel that they could support our work, whether it's financially or in kind. I'm sure with that support, Lynx Park Community Trust will be here for many, many years to come.